Hey, good morning, guys. We've actually moved to the other part of the scene where the situation took place. Well, ended, I should say. Here you can look and see this vehicle that was recovered by police. They're still here investigating here on North Waller Street. But again, this was a retired officer that was still trying to protect and serve when he was shot. It's a retired PO who was shot trying to stop carjackers. He's uh, shot in the hand. And police have the corner of Mayfield and Cochran Place blocked while investigating that shooting. They're telling us that a 78-year-old retired police officer suffered a graze wound to his thumb while trying to stop the carjacking. It happened just before 2 this morning in the Austin neighborhood. The 78-year-old man exchanged gunfire with the suspect before he took off with the vehicle. Now, the retired officer was taken to a local hospital, and he's in good condition. A weapon was also recovered at the scene, but within the last two hours, police confirmed the, vehicle, the victim's vehicle had been located. This is here behind us. We're told the suspect crashed the SUV into a parked vehicle near the corner of Huron and Waller, where we are, and that's about a half mile away from where this situation started. We did speak to a neighbor who told us he heard the gunfire. He says the area is dealing with too many problems right now. I heard the shots around, mm, I say 145, about seven to eight shots rapidly. I'm shocked because um, I've been over here for the last uh, eight years here, and it's, it's pretty good, you know. We're close here on the, the border of Oak Park, so it's not, I, I love it. I just got to always stay on alert all the time. And the owner of the vehicle was not injured during the carjacking or shootout. And again, this is the vehicle that was recovered. Unfortunately, police said that that suspect ran away after crashing that vehicle. So they're still looking for them. If you have any information that could lead to an arrest, police would like you to contact them immediately. For now, we're live in Austin neighborhood here on the west side. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.